Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Final Hydra and today we're going to be playing another game of XCOM 2. Now, after our last mission, we had to upgrade the Shadow Chamber and I went to the Black Market shh, and I sold some things. Uh, mostly just a bunch of corpses that I didn't think we needed. Um, we have to upgrade for the Psionic Gate. Shadow Chamber upgraded. Alright, so was that it? We upgraded complete Sonic. Oh, okay, so now wait, do we have a Shadow Project now? Uh, oh man, everything, all other shadow. Oh man, we need more supplies? I need 65 more supplies. Damn it. How many do I have right now? 25, hmm. All right, we can fix this, hold on. I go back into the black market and I sell some more stuff. What don't I think I need? I think I need the alien alloys. I don't want to get rid of that. Berserker corpses. Let's, uh, I don't think we need those. Let's get rid of them. I always keep four corpses normally. I haven't killed a viper in a long time, have I? Um, everything that's expensive is up here. Um, Alright, so let's say I sell some alien alloys. Confirm. Now we have enough. Let's go build that thing that we need. Because I don't want to wait forever. Research. Yes. Uh, how many days is that going to take? Six days? That's not that long. That ain't that long to mess around on the map. Alright, so what do we got? We got the black market here. We got the burning convoy. I mean, what else can we do right now? I mean, we can make contact, but no, we don't have nearly enough intel. Avenger plotting new course. F that. Let's just go fix this burning convoy, apparently. We'll get better resources during our, uh... And it, it takes exactly six days. All right. We have a new... We have a new psionic training complete. Continue training. Let's get... Hmm. Void Rift, that one was always good. Abby O'Reilly is now in there. What do you got? What do you got for me? Commander, the aliens can make progress blip. on the Avatar project. Yeah, take if your blip and shove it, down, aliens. We'll to move we know what we're doing here. We've got you on the run. Got an urgent communication coming in so now we now, get the supply drop, right? Which I'm fine with. It is what it is. It's just going to be really funny commander. because I'm going to complete this stupid thing in like, I don't know, a day? Oh, great. We got you know. the, the defense matrix. It's completely useless. Uh, uh, no, it's defensive turret stats. It's, it's like, whatever. Wh whatever. We're never going to use that. I'm As far as... Talon rounds. What is this? This round fractured into micro shards of alien alloy and impact granting plus 20% critical chance and plus one bonus damage on critical hits. That's not that bad. But what I would like to do is always have something in the proving ground. So let's do a new project. Uh, let's go for the experimental ammo one more time. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Just for why the hell Nazis? Just for funsies, as they like to say. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. I wouldn't step this, into it. But you're the only one who can pull this off. You know, I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the codex brain into oh. the rover. She's going to use her little robot the friend. The codex used to pass what if he dies? Excellent. Let us begin. Look, he just strapped a head to it. We've already seen the codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Oh, look, it's got the little, little like, eye little thing. Oh, be safe, little robot. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. All spectrum. Go. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? Get in there, little robot friend. Whoa. Are you saying 
doing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. All right. It doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. Get in there, little robot. Get him. Go give him hell. Tell him humanity's knocking. Oh, that doesn't look promising. Oh, well, that looks really bad. That is definitely not fine, Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature. An organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. The poor the little robot. Creates the door. This organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report what would our findings. The, what to what the would that be to something organic? It, it would just explode. It'd be like, uh,. You know, something in a microwave. Prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. All right, I let's do it. That we may be on the cusp Six of days. a complete understanding. Avatar autopsy. This avatar, this creature, represents a near perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though oh, it's in my eyes again. It appears as if the creature were unfinished. Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one. Logical conclusion. Whoa. We had such hope for you. I believe we have found our avatar. Weird. Didn't like that at all. All right, now we will go to our supply drop. I mean, it looks like we're getting real close to the end here, folks. Uh, we're gonna be fighting through. Sorry that this is so full of cutscenes and such, but I feel like we're we are on we're on the cusp of something. We have a whole lot of supplies. Um. No real intel, though, to spend. Setting course we can go to Resistance HQ and see if there's West anything Asia. worth purchasing there. I doubt it. I mean, it's always so expensive. I never buy any of it anyway. Welcome, Commander. Uh, gather intelligence. We get a new engineer. We can get a ranger. Uh, it's, uh, what's the point? Let's just make sure our units are all healed up, I guess. Communication from the Resistance. Ooh, what's this? Neutralized target. Shadow chamber. Enemies detected. All right. Looks like we're going on another mission before we finish this up, guys. So I guess the next episode will be the final uh, verdict, so to speak. So let's go do this one. All right. Let's see, who do we want to bring? It's just a difficult mission. Um, let's drop out a couple of the units there. I don't want, even Kevin might be, uh, well Kevin's fine, he's like, he will be fine on this mission. Um, the, the problem is, I just don't want to send anybody in there that I worry would be important. And, like, if we lost somebody, let's just say. Not that I, I want anybody to uh, die. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to 
be intelligent about who I send and who I do not send on the missions because I don't want to lose anybody. First, let's make some utility items available. Oh, you know what? This isn't your stuff. I know you think it's your stuff. You can have the Talon round. But that is El Dragoon's grenade and her fire stick shot. Um, yeah, I just don't want to take, like, th there's obviously, like, the A-Team, and those are, like, the top-tier guys who have been on, like, every single mission. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't want to take them in and have, like, something dumb happen to them, so... What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this team in, see what we can't figure out, uh, what see what's going on here. All right, this looks good. We've got our healer. We've got some, we've got a lot of fire support. It looks like so we're kind of mm, let's get our new psychic in on this mission. Well, let's get her into the field. Um, do we have any armor we can give her? Give her the serpent armor, because I'd rather it go on somebody than it not be used. Um, I'm sorry, hold on one second, guys. I know, I know you've watched a whole lot of cutscenes, and you're like, get to the fighting. We will, I promise. I just, I can't look at the serpent hat. Like, that was killing me a little. Like the weird white hair out of nowhere was kind of weird. But, alright, that's good. Perfect. Uh, now I think we're good. Because it, it wasn't like before we had a bad team. It's just I thought we could have done a little bit better. Like, and plus, we gotta get our other psychic. We could try to get our other psychic trained up, basically, is where I'm going with this, uh, with, with this statement. Uh, and I'm gonna replace this this with the proximity bomb and I'm gonna give her the EMP grenade there we go all right now I think we're good let's launch this mission now our psychic is obviously um, new uh, nothing happened to the werewolf but we have a new psychic that's just been trained up so we might as well try to get her some uh, get her some field time you know as I'm I feel like we are right at the edge of infinity right now. Like, we are about to be done with this mission. Or this playthrough, actually. I feel like we've got maybe one more mission after this. Kill or capture. Capture or kill enemy VIP. I like the kill part. We're going to go. We're going to see if we can't capture. And that always seems to be better off. Uh, at least seems to, you know, have a better reaction at the end when we don't just randomly kill everybody. Goddamn Howard in there, the dead man. The dead man that we've uh, pulled a full RoboCop on and put him into the mission. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Alright, let's get this group in there. Where's our target? He's in his office, crying in a corner and pooping everywhere. So we gotta get in there, and then we gotta go there. Got it. All right, let's hit this mission hard. I like how I was already given the aerial vantage point. I'm fine with that. Oh, I can't switch. This is me. We've already seen. Yep, we've already made. Uh, hmm. Let's get up there. Got it. Moving. Get there. I mean, now, like, let's be honest. Are we just going to go full, like, full bore on these guys and kill them? Yeah. Like, that's going to happen more than likely. Like, we've got two sharpshooters, and Kevin here has that damn bow. So, letting them live, uh, I'm finding it a real hard time trying to justify that. I'm just trying to get everybody into some kind of decent cover for this assault. <clears throat> That's affirmative. I'll put you there. 
They have a lot of armor. So let's see. Let's do Overwatch. On the and set up this gank in a good way. Uh, oof. She's going to have a hard time hitting anybody up here, I think. But... Let, oh yeah, kill zone. That's funny. She has that sniper ability, so let's set up that. Um, Overwatch again. No, wait. Pistol Overwatch? Ooh, what do I want to do? He has face off. And he has face off. Alright, well what I want to initiate this with is this proximity bomb. Because I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. Probably would be bad to initiate with that. So let's just initiate... I mean, these guys are so weak in comparison. I feel like the proximity bomb is really good. And kind of a waste to use it. Alright, let's do it. Face off. It does 4 to 7 on every one of them. They've all got kind of got 3 armor not really liking that so what we're gonna do is let's shred some armor for the rest of the team Won't even know what dead man get him whatcha all right they're all gonna scatter we're gonna get some overwatch shots hopefully we just kill them all and make it like it look like a really good ambush what you got I like how it does like this, like, oh, we don't even know where they are. Oh, come on, Kevin. Just end one of them. Whoever Ke if Kevin lands the shot, they're dead. Yep, good night. Jeez. Alright, how about the robot? Is the robot not gonna move? Is it Did the robot learn? Like it watched everybody else do that. It's like, mmm, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out. Okay, thanks. Uh, 10% critical. Could, could kill it. It's a possibility. Mm, didn't get that critical. It happens. But it's Overwatch is now removed. Alright. Abby's at our last shot. 80%. Now, she can't get promotions for getting kills. She only gets promotions... Oh, and he dropped an item, it looks kill like, confirmed. as well. Cool. Um, the only way that the psychics get promotions is by leveling up in the psychic chamber or the shadow chamber or whatever the hell the the area where we lock them up like like animals basically is where they uh, get experience. Oh yeah. Understood. Moving out. I'm all over it. Trying to think of a good spot where we can move a lot of these guys to, because we do gun. have, um, thankfully, our our snipers on this mission are all long, or not long range. Excuse me, they're the opposite of that. They are the pistolier class snipers. So we we don't really have the the team of long way. shots we've kind of got like the Target team of like mid-range to close range combat ho oh, that was not good all right they're gonna get a move um who has a who has something left we could try a frostbite 67 percent chance um Let's go for it. I mean, it's a 67% chance on a freeze. And... Good, we froze it for hopefully one turn. Like, if it could just remain frozen and then... Ooh, six to eight. Yeah. I'm inside your head. Abby, you're kind of creepy. How about you just Kamehameha wave him? Sure. Oh, so close. So damn close. That's all right. I think, yep, Turbo. I definitely left Turbo available over here for, uh, just in cases. Eh, 100% chance we'll get some damage on that big thing, even though it's frozen. It's never bad to just get some damage on the board, you know? Armor still holding. Um, sadly, we couldn't hit that shield bear in the back. Oh, it lost one action point. Yeah, those things get three a turn, apparently. It's so we can still shoot twice. 
We have to kill that thing. Or move all of our people way out of that thing's range. Now it's going to be difficult because now it's got even more armor. Um... <clears throat> All right. It's killing time. First thing, volcano. I know this sucks, but I got to reposition you. This guy's got an Overwatch. I was not paying attention. Okay, he sucks and missed. Who cares about the dumb aliens and what they do or don't have? Uh oh, well that's also a problem we've now found. Let's... Oh, that guy is right on the cusp of where I can hit. Damn. Yeah, the shrapnel gun is... I'll hit both of those things there. Nope, just the one. They're only shredded the one armor. Oh, less than ideal. Can I EMP? Uh, I'm not going to be able to get both of them, obviously. But one EMP bomb should be enough to stun this sucker and remove that thing it's doing. No, it just did a lot of damage to it, which I'm fine with. Um, can we take it out? Machow! No. Okay, so somebody else is going to be able to kill it, though. It it's got two health left. Like, this is... I don't want to say easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy, but we're getting damn close to it being that way. Can't hit him, can't hit him, can't hit him. Alright. Dead Man, do you have a free shot? Do you have a free lightning hands that you could just kill that thing with? Oh, I don't want to use Dead Man, though, on that. Uh, and you're like, well, why? Um, the reason for that specifically is because he can't, okay. like, gain any more upgrades. So, like, right now, he's got shots on pretty much everything there. So, what would I like to do here? I'd like to get Lindsay that upgrade, if possible. And I'm trying to find, like, an effective area to run Gunner to, where she'll have a good shot on it. I'm thinking right go. here. Looks good. I know there's an item back there. I get it. We'll somehow survive without it. Impressed yet? Um, alright. So that's dead. Dead, out of the water, done. Now what do we got? You do not have shots on everything. You got a hail of bullets, though. You could potentially take that guy out. Could potentially deal some damage there. I think... No. Uh, I hit the wrong button. I think we're going to go for uh, as much damage on that as humanly possible. You know what? Let's let the guy who can't get the upgrade... Let's do some, uh, let's do some creativity for a moment here. Go up top. Do that. Wow, seven damage. Hit the armor. And now we'll do face off. Oh, I think I literally just targeted the thing that I want to save. Yeah, I think I just killed it. I didn't mean to do that, but wow, dead man. Like Judge Dredd over here missing like every shot. Killed him. Uh, did we kill that VIP? Yeah, we killed the VIP. I mean, I don't know if that was the whole goal or not, but we were able to do it. 51. 68. Ch Dredge. I am the law. Just shot that man in his office. Oh, Lindsay's literally ascended to Dragonhood and now caught fire. Look at that guy bleeding out in the corner. Less than ideal right now. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are about to take damage. I really wish he had landed a couple more of those shots. 
Oh, that's right. Anytime somebody shoots at him now, he gets a reaction shot. I got nothing. Hmm. Not great. Because I, I fear that the turret is now just going to kill him. I'm getting caught! The cavalry's here! Alright, I guess not. Menace 1 5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound right. on your current position. Menace 1 5, be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. I know this is dumb. I'm just going to use the restoration because I don't want to use uh, both abilities on... I don't want to do a heal and then the revive. I just want to use one. So we'll do the heal. Uh, what did she have? Oh, was she on fire? Yeah, that's good. So I guess it was kind of worth it. It made her not catch fire no more. I was going to say, she just ascended to Dragonhood and was just like, it is what it is. Removed his panic and it healed him. Holy crap. Closing on target position now. Abby looks pretty boss with that scarf, just saying. Going up. Get to a good flanking position. The aliens certainly don't make it easy to decipher their technology. What the hell is Sometimes that? Sometimes it's hard to tell whether the organic or mechanical component is in control. Yeah, what the hell was that thing? That was super weird. Let's just get this damn guy off the field. Abby, please. Thank you. Oh, dead. Enemies down. Uh, Lindsay. Yeah, just go kill that guy. We're causing too many problems, so we gotta kill him with a sword. You know that was good. All right, now let's just start moving ourselves. To where's our extraction point? Up there. Uh, move all go, go, units go. with moves left forward. Less than ideal. I should have known that our exit would not have been as flawless as I had been hoping for it to be. Alright, time to use the big bomb. Do that, because this will teach them the meaning of loyalty. Because now if anything moves over there, that proximity bomb will go off, and it's going to do a lot of damage, actually. It's one of the most damaging things, uh, at least that I can remember in the game. Orders confirmed. On right. the move. move him up. Can we fanfire something to death? We could fanfire that Archon, potentially. Oh, we could fanfire that one. I think we're going to go for the 54% chance on the other one, just because we hit two out of three shots. It's not the worst thing ever. And now it's, it's going to get an extra couple movement spaces per turn. They're dropping in some, some allies. I mean, this is becoming a decent mission. It wasn't just literally a run in and kill everything and leave fest, which, I mean, that's what it's going to be. We're, we're going to win. But... We'll see what happens now. Yeah, they're really far off. They're going to have to use their whole turn just to get down into the area with us. Um, so I'm not really that worried about it. Bye-bye. Two shred, eight damage. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right. The Armadon or the Andromedon. What's it climbing? Liter Nothing. Never mind. Uh... Climbed like a, a gutter, then the gutter broke, and then it just decided, wait, I can just jump, I'm a robot. Less than ideal, but we will we will correct it soon. Abby's kind of up there with them. At least she'll be able to take out probably that Archon I can't move. on this turn. Oh god, they're all going for her. That's so weird. That one hit her. Still a, still a graze, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry, Abby. We're coming. This looks a little ugly. Took some damage here. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He's going to probably panic again, isn't he? 
All right, let's get some heals going. Better yet, let's get them out of the damn lava. Well, it's not lava, but let's get them out of the acid before we attempt to start doing heals. Uh, simply because... Yeah, do the face off. Three... Seven... I mean, it, they've got to be close to that death at this point. The reason I want to move them out of this, uh, you know, caustic crap is because I believe now that they're out of it, if I heal them, I think it'll also remove the burning. And I was worried that if they were still in there and I went to move them out, they would walk through it again and then regather the burning on them. Got one more heal coming in this turn. Let's go for Volcano. Abby, don't worry. We're going to get you out of there, I think. Not like, oh, I think, and like you might l die. No, I, I. what I mean is we're going to get you out of there definitely. It's just give me a minute. We're going to, I got to figure it out. I would really prefer if you didn't run through the acid, but like I can kind of see that that's what you really want. Who do you have shots on? Pretty much... Pretty much everything. Um, kind of in a bad spot and I'm not really liking it. Heading out. Here we go. I just wanted to get his pistol fire in on there. Boom! Right in the chest. Dodge! I don't get it. Like, it looked like it definitely hit him in the chest, but alright. Uh, what do we want to do? Do I just want to remove Abby from that entire, uh, situation and get her the hell out of there? I don't think that would be a, a bad choice. If I put her right there, she can also take a reaction shot. Let's do that. Get her, I'm out of, Im out of immediate, oh look, we found the dead guy. <laughs> and then, see, here's what I want to do. Do you guys see what I'm trying to do? Like, I'm trying to hit, I want to hit that Archon and this guy. If possible. Come on. It's like so damn close to giving me what I want. Boom. Grenade out. There we go. Because using the grenade to kill the one damage guy like kind of seems like wasteful to me. So let's do this. Look at that. Perfect bounce. Boom. And then they fall. He'll get some fall damage too, right? He'll get like four fall damage. Excellent. Now what I can do is I can put Lindsay over here. I can handle that. Sixty percent chance. Could have been better. Could have been worse. We'll have her kill that thing there. There you go. That's dead now. Dead and dead. Well, how about that? Well, how about that? Well, you know, I don't think it's really how about that. I thought it was a pretty good chance of you doing it, Lindsay. And then we have Abby take this thing out. Oh, we missed. Happens. Happens just because she's psychic doesn't mean she uh, can't miss. Could use some ammo All right, so here. what's this guy gonna do? He's gonna do one shot now, or is he gonna do another acid bomb? I think it might still be on cooldown. His acid bomb, if I had to guess. Oh God, please don't. Okay, there we go. He missed. I'm pretty sure that that gun he has there does like 10 damage, which pretty much is as much health as she has. Are these things gonna actually get? Attacks, or are they just going to be coming in? He's going to use rockets. Ugh. All right. This is bad. That one hurt. They're trying to flank us. Help! Help! Someone help! Why would you run through the acid? 
Of all things to run through, Abby. Come on. All right. If she doesn't insta die on our turn. We'll we'll heal her up. All right. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yep. 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 All right. Give her a good old heal. Heal bot coming, coming through. And then I think we're gonna have to whip out the mimic beacon at this point. Like, I'm I'm just running out of uh, I'm just running out of heals really. Let's just put it over there. We'll see how many people run towards it. Got us like back against the wall here. Oh crap. Damn it, it hit him too. Alright, Troy, hold on, buddy. We're gonna get you out of there. No, that's pointless. What can you hit? That guy. Somebody actually give me a good percentage on killing that thing, no. Alright. Seventy percent chance on a hit. Sixty-two, sixty-two. Let's just go for it with him. Dead man. Dead. All right. Now the reason I didn't use any of the guys with a better percentage is because now that this thing's gonna come back to life, we're gonna hopefully use the fan fire on it because I don't know if the or the hell of bullets all right guaranteed to hit eighty two that ain't bad take him out God man Sometimes it's like the shots are just so good. It's like they're too good to fail, and then they do fail. She's only got two shots left. Why can't I re... Okay, there we go. Reload her gun. Oh, I could only use kill zone if it was the first action for the turn. Okay. Lame. Because using the kill zone when, like, obviously three or four of them are going to move and I only have two shots is kind of wasteful, I think. Did you see that one? So there we go. We killed him. Here they come. Good. They're, they're still firing at that thing. All right. Now the robot's got an attack. It's already used its reign of fire, so let's hope it just does something dumb. Like, shoot at Lindsay. Shoot it. Yeah, perfect. She's got full health. How many of these rockets does this dumb thing get? I can't move! Fire's getting close here! Alright, you're a dragon. You'll, you'll be alright. Let's move him up, because he's been in the back for a while. You got a shot on that. Where can you grapple to? Can I? Can you? Oh, I can actually get her like way the hell over Throwing here. Throwing the hook. What? Wow! What a what a crazy grapple move that that is, man. You can pretty much go anywhere with that. Right, she can't be. She isn't seen by anybody, so I'm not as worried about her taking a lot of damage as I normally would be. Dead eye. What's my shot on that guy with a dead eye? All right, can I kill him with a normal? 77, and it will just kill him. If it hits, he's dead. Hopefully. Damn it. 77. It's like numbers like that. You shouldn't miss on Not shots good. that are 77. It just sounds like a lucky number, right? Like, that's what I think of it as. That's a lucky number. How could we miss? 
Get ready for Let's remove surprise. some of their damn cover and armor. Andrew with the grenades this mission, man. They've been very instrumental to getting a lot of this armor off of the enemies, which has been really helpful. Uh, he doesn't have any cover now, so hopefully we've got some good shots on him. Ooh, we got a free lightning hand shot. Never bad. Robocop away. All right. Face off. You can only hit one guy with face off. It's pointless to me. Let's go for the damn big guy. Let's get him out of our face. Oh, I, I guess I selected the one in the back. My bad. Whoopsie poopsie. No problem, boss. She's the last move, so what do I want to kill? Let's kill the damn robot. Yeah. Kill the robot. <laughs> Good night, sweet robot prince. Not. Impressed yet? Oh god. Oh god. Sorry, I had an itchy foot. Crazy. And yes, you're 100% you're right. This mission could have been over in three seconds had we just ran to like this zone here, which I'm going to start moving our guys that way, especially some of the ones that are really far away. Overwatch, who cares? Can't touch Kevin. Can't do it. He's untouchable. Unstoppable. The bony man. Your mind is your weakness. Soul five. Oh, really? It only did six? I thought it was going to do a lot more. Maybe because she's just not, like, the trained up psychic guy. Like, my like my guy does a lot of damage. The other psychic dude, he does Um. So maybe that's all it is. It's just the more her training gets, the more she'll develop her psychic ability. She's like Jean Grey right now. We want her to be Phoenix, but she's not. So... We're just doing what we can with her. 10-4. Moving forward. Menace one five. Hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. We are leaving. Your window for extraction is closing. Now ish. Double time. Yep, double time. Everybody we'll get do. where they need to be. Get in there. Where's the rest of the team? Dead man will make it. So we're just gonna be waiting on uh, Abby, it seems. That's fine. She can evac on the turn right after us. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Getting out of here. Packing it in. You know, they always say, you I'm know, gone. commander, first one on the field, last one off. So, you know, if that's the case, Abby's, Abby's the commander for this mission. She's that's literally the newest unit, and she's now in charge. It's all yours, I'm Abby. Home. You own us. Woo! The last person, they shouldn't even zip line them up. The the Sky Ranger should just take off, like at full speed, and like they should just like whip behind it for a bit. I think it would be cool. Judge me in my what I think will be funny. I don't care. MVP was Abby. Look at that. I said she was the commander, and she's the MVP. That's a win if I've ever heard of it for her, so it is what it is, folks. So hopefully, uh, I don't think we got any promotions. I mean, I miss things sometimes. So let's hope we got a promotion to hand out. That's, like I say every video, my favorite part of the game is handing out promotions. So we'll hand out a promotion if there is one, and if not, this is going to be the end of the episode pretty much. And when we come back, I think it's the end of the game, folks. So what are we going to do? We'll try to do our very best. And we will see where the series goes from there. Wow. Long ride home, it seems. Wonder what's our success? Oh, 75% of the shots taken, we uh, we landed. 6.9 damage average. That's not the worst thing ever. It's definitely not the best one. Two. All right. Walk out the ship like triumphant. Oh, we did get one promotion! Alright. Hail of bullets or salvo? Launching or throwing grenades or using heavy weapons? Oh no, yes, yeah, salvo. Thank you. 
That's what I would like. All right, so we got some wounded. We got no items recovered. That's fine. We killed that dummy. We got some of that stuff. Reduced will. That's dumb. That's dumb. I don't want none of this reduced will crap. I want my guys ready and raring to go. Um, I'm just looking real quick. I don't think there's anything else that we could bring with us that we might need. Yeah, I'm not seeing it any. Uh, I think we're good. I think this is going to be it after uh, after we come back. So, Oh, you know, we have one day on the proving app. Don't worry about it. Avenger plotting new course. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the proven ground thing. I wanna see what that ammo is and then you know what, who cares about Intel? I think the game's gonna be Setting over. Course for the West Asian corridor. Let's just get ourselves healed up. Cause we got some wounds coming in from that last mission, so ba boom. Racer rounds. I thought we had that already. I thought we had it already. Proving grounds. Just put one more item in there. And choose project. And ooh, we have enough for everything. Experimental powered weapons. Hmm. Five days, eight days. Yep. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know. Right, sounds good, Commander. For deployment. So not for nothing, let's just do the scanning because the Avatar Optopsy is about to be done too. I know I said we weren't. It won't be easy. But I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Come I'm right, right here. Commander. Central. The Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? We're gonna make aliens? Right. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, huh. in a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe if not fatal trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it oh. stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door, which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Well, what am I going to say? No! Let's let this the aliens win! This being is something else entirely, something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. Hmm. So what did it want me to do then? Well, let, let me see. What do I got? 
yeah, it doesn't really have anything for me, at least. Oh, well, but that's going to be the end of this episode here, folks. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like this content, please subscribe. It helps out a great deal. Uh, we're getting near the end. I think, I think it's going to be one more episode, and then that's going to be it, guys. So, buckle up and get ready for, uh, you know, the end of the XCOM 2 campaign. And then we'll see what happens with the series after that. But as always, thank you very much for watching, folks. Thank you very much for your, your support in this series throughout the whole way. And thank you for watching. It's as simple as that. So, as always, I will see you next time.